Hello and thanks for watching this short video focusing on the new QuickBooks Online, specifically being able to pass through time, materials, and expense onto an invoice uh, using the QuickBooks Online Plus, and I'm in the new version of QuickBooks Online. Now this video will not go into you know at setting up estimate to actual reporting within QuickBooks Online. There is a great workaround for that. Let me just quickly show you. If you go to the QuickBooks and Beyond uh, website, and search for any of Stacy Kildall's articles, but she did one on job costing in QuickBooks Online using sub-customers and actually budgets and how you can do an estimate to actual reporting within QuickBooks Online. It's a great workaround. Um, and just pause the video and you know just copy paste that URL there. Okay. And of course, sub-customer, what she means there is when I go to new customer, you know, you can actually make something a sub-customer quote-unquote job of something else right so that's kind of the beginning of the step but this is just more i'm going to enter some time uh, an expense uh, and then we'll pass that through to an invoice pretty easy within uh, quickbooks online plus you'll need the plus version for this so i'm going to go to the quick create menu there and just do a single time activity to start it's going to open up the single time activity window and there's uh, emily she's a uh, an employee, I'm going to choose the customer, and this will be for Amy's Bird Sanctuary, the service we did. She did some gardening, um, and it's, you know, you can make it billable. You're going to check that box, and, you know, we're billing out 25 bucks an hour, and then we'll just say it was, you know, eight hours, and you can put in the description. You can even enter your start and end times with the timesheet. Of course, there's a weekly timesheet as well, but it's just save. This is a single time activity window, but the key is that you see these customer fields, right, on the cost or the time documents. Um, so I have that there, and I click save and close. And then I'm also going to go ahead and uh, just do a cash expense to a particular vendor. Hicks Hardware there, and it's um, you know just put in job materials would be the account and the amount. And again, I can make it billable, and I'll make it billable to Amy's Bird Sanctuary. So again, the key thing where I can pass it through from an expense form or time, or pass materials through. Let's say I'm receiving it in on a bill or a check or something like that the the customer field so if we go down to item details here then i can bring in say a pump and uh, i bought just one of those again i'm going to make it billable and i'm going to apply it to amy's bird sanctuary and click save and close so now we know from the customer's standpoint i have unbuilt activity that i can then move to an invoice and you can drill down and i can see that i have four unbuilt activities for amy's bird sanctuary and i could start the invoice and that's one way to do it obviously it's probably the great workflow way but let's just say someone's coming in clicking the quick create icon goes to an invoice and just decides to bill amy's bird sanctuary on the right the drawer opens and then i can add my billable time and expense that way right to the invoice and now it's on an invoice that I can go ahead and, and bill Amy's Bird Sanctuary. So whether you do it like that, or as I X out of here and go back here for unbilled activities, start invoice, either way, it's going to go ahead and bring it in uh, to the invoice itself. Or I can click on four unbilled activities as well, and it'll bring up the unbilled activities. And each of them, I can create an invoice for each line, or like you saw before, when I create an invoice, I can add them all from the drawer or right from the customer list. But on the billable expense charge, if I drill in on that, notice there is the ability to, uh, here's the billable expense, and I can add a markup as well uh, to a particular account if I want to mark up the expenses and pass them through to an invoice. So interestingly enough, that's also supported within QuickBooks Online. So again, I'm in the plus SKU of QuickBooks Online, and I have the ability, as I'm uh, creating time or charges, expense, payables, things on the cost side, I can assign it to a customer and pass that through to an invoice in a couple, three different ways. So I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.